Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the integral then of 24x to the power minus 3 integrated with respect to x between the limits a and infinity equals 3. And we've got to find out then the value of this constant a. Now when you're handling integrals that have got infinity as one of the limits, what I would suggest that you do is you just take that value and just call it t. So I'm going to say it follows then that if I was to integrate between a and t 24x to the power minus 3 with respect to x, then doing this, remember we did this integral actually in the previous part of the question. We found that it was minus 12x to the power minus 2 or better still minus 12 over x squared. Okay, and if I just put those limits in, okay, we've just got that this is now between a and t. So if we substitute t first of all in here, we're going to get minus 12 over t squared. And then from this, we would subtract what we get when we put a through. We would have minus minus 12 over a squared. So I'm going to just change that to plus now 12 over a squared. Now what we do is we let t tend to infinity, okay, in situations like this. So as t tends to infinity, we're going to now have the integral from a to infinity of 24x to the power minus 3 integrated with respect to x is going to equal. Well, as t gets larger, this term gets smaller. We're just going to be left with 12 over a squared. Okay, so it's 12 over a squared. Now, we know that that integral is equal to 3. So therefore, what we've got is 12 over a squared must equal 3. And rearranging this for a squared, if we multiply both sides by a squared, we get 12 equals 3a squared. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us a squared equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4. And then if we take the square root of 4, we end up with a equaling 2. Now it's not plus or minus 2 because we're told that a is a positive value. So if I say that since a is greater than 0, we know that a must be 2. Okay?